Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to Learning Boards. Today, we are going to use Python automation to move folders from desktop to the desired location. But before we go dive into the video, let's have a quick demo. Let's try to understand what we are going to do. So the problem statement is, I work on different projects and I place them on my desktop for easy accessibility. But once I'm done with them, I want them to be sent to the specified folder from the desktop. So this is my program and here is the folder that I am using for automation. Here is my python script and let's say I have this folder with android and I want it to be sent to this android studio folder. This is on the desktop to show but we can place the folder anywhere in our computer and using this automate files folder it will directly send. So first thing we have to make sure is with the folder we are making hyphen and the destination. Okay, so we have our source folder and our destination folder. So we will now run our script. I am going to move this folder in this directory and it will directly come here with the name remove. So this is a basic demo for Android. We can do it for different projects. Like here I have python also. So this is what we are going to achieve in this video. Now we know how it works. So let's have a look at how to develop it. Before we dive into the video, a quick shout out to my friend Apur who helped me in getting this logo. Yes, we got a new logo and his Instagram handle is on the screen. Please go and have a look at his profile. He is a good artist and may help you. So without a further ado. Let's dive into the programming. Let's start creating our program. To make the video a little shorter, I will copy paste some of the commands. So first of all, we import some libraries that will be useful. We use time OS shutil to interact with our system. The two important libraries that will help us in this program are from watchdog. I will provide the documentation in the description. So what basically this is doing is it is observing the folder and if there is any change in the folder it will do the specified work in the documentation we can see many uses of watchdog but in our specified program we will use only observer and file system event handler to automate our process so once we import them now we are going to create a class to initiate our observer and start it we will create one event handler from handler class that we are going to define in a moment and then we will schedule the observer so this is a conventional way and most of the time it remains same the only change in this line of code that will be required will be event handler and the source directory now creating the handler class it will look something like this and we define a function on modified this is a type of inbuilt function in the file system event handler that will observe all the things that are modified in a specified folder so as i have informed you that we need to keep our folder with the name any name hyphen the destination where we want to send it this all logic is based on this name only each directory is internal from file system event handler and it will check if the file we are sending is a type of folder as we are dealing with the folder so we will put all our code inside this so we are going to look through every folder or file that is present in our uh, source directory but we have our python script in the source directory only which is this one so we will ignore this so we will say if folder is not equal to this one because we don't want this file to be changed and sent anywhere else so if we split on it we will get file and destination we are removing any white spaces before and after the name we are converting the destination name that we are getting from the split into lower okay now we have our file and the destination differently now we need to remove the hyphen and the destination name from the file name and we need to rename it to the original name we wanted so we will first try to join the path using the source directory and the file we got from here and we will rename it 
okay now we have our original name that we wanted so now we are almost done with everything in our source file now we need to give it a destination for that we are going to create a dictionary and that will look something like this the source directory is the path of the directory we want to observe and in our case it's automate file on the desktop and for the destination sources we are creating a dictionary with key as the destination path we are getting from the folder name and the value as the path of directory for we want to send it to so we have android and python for our example we can add many more so coming back to the handler class we will get the folder destination from the destination sources dictionary and we'll pass on the key we got from the folder name now we have our file renamed and we have our destination so now we can move it so here i'm using a function move file so folder source and destination are the directory path and the file is the name of the file so that we can check if the folder or the file already exist in our destination file this move file function will look something like this so we are making it a static method so we are using a new name variable to hold our file name we are keeping this above the for loop because if the destination folder is empty it will take the same file name but if the folder is not empty and there may be a chance that the folder exist we will look through the folder to check the content so if the file is already present in the directory then we will try to add a number to the folder so there are various ways of doing it i am just stripping off the old number if there is any and i am iterating the i to plus 1 and i'm using that i to give the name of the new name so there are many ways of giving the new name i'm using this way where i'm stripping off any number or space that we have already on the file name i'm adding one to i and using this i in the new name so that i get a unique name now we have checked if the file name is already existing in the directory and we have changed the name so that a unique name is given we create a path for our destination with the new name that we got so we use the shutil.move it will require source and the destination so the source path we already received from the above method and new destination path we received just now so if we use this function the folder will be moved we are almost done with the program now all that is left is to run it and this lines of code will run our program we create a variable with the class on my watch that we defined here and there is a function run so we will use that function to start our observer with this we are done with the script but there is one setback it will only run as long as we are keeping the ide running so we need a way to automate it but luckily in windows 10 we have a function or feature task scheduler which will schedule the task as per our requirement but for that we need to first create a batch file with our program script and to create a batch file we need our notepad and in the notepad we have to do the exact same code that i used here first we have to give the directory of our python executive file then we have to give the directory of our script where we kept the automation step now we need to save it as the name dot batch so now let's save this batch file on our desktop so here we can see our batch file is ready now let's search for task scheduler so here our task scheduler is open now we need to create a basic task we will give it a name run automation you can give any name you can specify the trigger of it you want daily weekly monthly so i want it to recur every one day the action we want is to start a program so here i will give the directory of our batch file and i will go to next page on this page we are almost done with our automation and when we click finish 
it will give a confirmation message that our process is added and we are good to go. So now let's run our script and see how it is working. I will run it. Let me open my automate files folder, my Android directory, Python directory and let's see how it behaves. As you can see we don't have any new folder here, we don't have any file in this one and this is also blank. First let's go with the Android. So we have four examples, two for Python, two for Android. If we move this file here, it is automatically added to the new folder at Android directory. Let's try for Python. If we move this file here, it is added to the Python programming directory. We have one more Python example. And we can see we have a new folder with new folder 2. Let's check for the last file new folder and in the android directory we have new folder 2 so with this our script is finally running and we are done with automation as i have already mentioned it is for the folders but we can always make changes to run it for the type of files also so this is our automation project completed so that was the video guys I hope you liked it. The files will anyways be present at github repository and the link will be in the description. This is our first video in the python automation series. There are many more videos to come. And please let me know any suggestions or any topics on which I should make the videos. You can also let me know any improvements on my current code. Any suggestions are welcomed. Don't forget to leave a like if the video was good. And Trust me, there are many more videos coming on Python automation and other Python projects. We also do programs on NLP and we are hoping to make a better digital assistant. So keep watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to follow me and support me. We will meet very soon with the next video. Until then, adios.